Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, maybe. We're coming up on a full moon, huh? Hmm. What do we have for a message today? I'm going to get started on the November readings here next, so you can stay tuned for them. I'm going to try to keep doing the weeklies. readings up next. What do we have for a message today? Oh! Well, that's par for the course, huh? Yes, it is. It came down. That's a message from Spirit. What is the tower? The tower is a dismantling of a false sense of security, the dismantling of a foundation that is not stable, that is not secure. So you look at that. Isn't that a tornado? Comes out of nowhere. That's what it looks like to me. Looks like there's something coming in that is very, very destructive. It tears things apart fast. There's no stopping it. This is immense power in destruction. This is a weight belt of some sort. This is a universal event. It's universal forces taking something down. Something is coming in. This could be a storm. Something is coming in and you can't, all you can do is get the heck out of the way. That's Mars energy. It could be, have something to do with the Saturn-Pluto energy as well, but... This looks like it's going to be a mess. Got to go right now. Mm. Oh. Queen of Wands reversed. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius could also be dealing with a Scorpio. It doesn't have to be or an Aries. I think I said that with this card. Obviously I did, right? Now the tower is where the universe comes in and forces something to happen. It, it's forced to change, okay? So there is going to be a forced change. There's upheaval, there's chaos, there's sudden change. <gasps> oh my God. Ugh, so this is a shock. There is definitely a shock here, probably a very quick exit. We have somebody that's angry. We may, this can be a bully. Not a good person in their ego, definitely. Unreasonable, out of control, clueless, forceful, dramatic. Acting out, acting out, definitely. This is upsetting, it definitely is. Sudden change. 
The Knight of Swords in reverse is extreme. This is extremely aggressive behavior, put it that way. Maybe even like under attack. Knight of Swords reversed. We have an untrustworthy individual here that is, I don't know, screaming. It feels like screaming for attention. Maybe abusing their power. Extremely upset. Something is off. Out of control. Definitely out of control. You may have a sudden departure. We, we probably do because this is get out. There may be another woman here. Somebody that is the other woman. Whoever this other woman is, but there's a woman here. There is it's a feminine. Maybe acting on impulse or, or you know, this is masculine, so it could be either or. This could definitely be a fight, could be an event, could be an internal event, an external event. Something is happening. This is a shock. Beware. Definitely beware. Storms coming. Storms brewing, put it that way. We have somebody here that wants power, that wants control. Mm, angry, upset. Maybe rude, disrespectful. Oh, Knight of Wands. This is taking action. So somebody is definitely probably acting without thinking. It's, this is act now, think later, okay? So doing something extremely spontaneous. There's something happening. It is spontaneous, okay? Happening fast. Sudden change happening fast. The universe is driving this change I feel like there is definitely going to be some movement somebody is heading out of a false sense of security heading out of something in a hurry they are this is definitely in a hurry mm. Wow, look at the fire. This is devil. This is the devil. You know, this is devil energy. Toxic, unhealthy, tempted, driven, driven, driven by lust, driven by greed. This whole foundation, whatever is happening, is based on lust, greed, materialism, a codependency, a need for instant gratification. There's some sort of bondage here. We have somebody here that is tied to something. They're chained to something that is extremely unhealthy. It's not stable. It's not secure. It's going to crumble. It's crumbling. It probably has been. Knight of Swords. Now it's upright. Look at the movement. There's definitely, there could be an arrival, there could be a departure, there could be both. This is somebody that is definitely in a hurry, they're rushing, they're doing something, their mind is made up. This is like somebody that is on a mission, this is somebody that is assertive, probably fearless. There could definitely be a fight. under attack. It's almost like somebody is coming up from behind as well. They're coming up from behind.
there's somebody coming in, there's somebody coming in, they're coming, they're in a hurry, their mind is made up, they're taking a new approach, they're doing something. Leaving behind a toxic situation is here as well. Somebody has made up their mind. Maybe they're leaving behind this trauma bond, this situation that is crumbling, has been crumbling. I do believe there is a sudden departure. Definitely something sudden, put it that way. Somebody is doing something. They are. They're doing something. They have this idea. They have this information or they have this desire to go. This is going and definitely going. Now, the Knight of Swords can represent the military. So the military could, for some, if this is worldwide, if it's a worldwide event, this could definitely have something to do with the military. Five of Wands. We do have a power struggle here. We have some sort of stiff competition. There's a desire to uh, get some sort of attention. We do, do have an attention seeker here. They're having some sort of disruption right now. Anyhow, the Five of Wands is a power struggle. It's stiff competition. It's wanting to win. Somebody really, really, really wants to win. There's some sort of stiff competition here. This is like war, right? It's a tug of war. It's war. This is a desire for control. It is. A desire for power and control. Ten of Cups. Happiness is a challenge. It did come out sideways. Taking a new approach. Ace of Cups reverse. This is sad. Heartbreaking. Emotional loss. Ace of Pentacles reverse. Right with it. So this is uh, letting something go or something slipping away. This could be an unplanned loss. Okay, There is an unplanned loss here. I would say that there is. Anyhow, Ace of Pentacles reverse. No. We have a no answer. No, 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 no. This is sad. Uh, it's not it's not real. This is it could be unreal. This is not stable. It's not secured. This is a loss of some sort. It's definitely a loss, especially with the tower. Sudden departure. This could be a disaster. Tower with the devil. There could be a disaster here. Somebody's been struggling, 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 struggling. There's fighting, there's competition, there's tension. A desire to have power and control, you know, is definitely here. No, 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 no. No, this is not real. No, this is not stable. No, it's not solid. It's not something you can hold on to. It's it's not love. It's empty. There's nothing in there. There's no love there. This is not, it's not love. It's it's an empty cup, okay? When the cup is upside down, the goddamn cup is dry. Somebody's been struggling in a relationship. They've been struggling with their happiness. They've been maybe playing it safe because of the outside appearances or because of the codependency or the obsession or the infatuation or, you know, the greed. There's lust here as well. Storms brewing, though. Maybe it's already happened. I don't think so because this is for the next couple of days. I would say get prepared. I would say get prepared. There's something coming, okay? Somebody's made up their mind or they're making up their mind about a relationship. 
that is uh, not solid, okay? It's it's not, okay? This is a loss. There is a loss here. Somebody's definitely struggling with their emotions. It's extremely emotional. There's an ungroundedness here. This is a, this is definitely emotional. Somebody may have sped into something in the first place. They 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 rushed. They were in a hurry. They did it without thinking. Maybe they were needy. Somebody is definitely struggling with their ego. They're struggling with uh, an obsession or infatuation or codependency. And it's emotionally draining. It's not even anything to hold on to. It's really not. It's not even... solid really it's not it's slipping away anyway it's going away this it is it's not something you should not be investing in something that is built that is false that is insecure that is toxic put it that way there is toxic behavior inappropriate behavior fighting 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 Leaving a relationship. Somebody is leaving a relationship. I don't know what, what family situation, whatever it is, they are leaving. Their mind is made up. Okay, I, I believe that. Five of Cups reversed. There's another option here. There's a, this is another. There's another opportunity. Somebody's been ignoring an opportunity ignoring their op uh intuition fighting 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 struggling struggling with their demons struggling with taking action struggling with um letting go of control or strugg struggling with control issues maybe even managing themselves they've been going overboard going to extremes Maybe even doing things maliciously to obtain some sort of internal power, you know? What do you call that? Ego boost. Struggling with a relationship, struggling with letting it go, struggling with the emotions. It's gonna this is definitely an emotional loss. There could be extreme grief here. Somebody definitely going to extremes. This is extreme. Hmm. Somebody's doing something to have their desires met. They need some sort of boost. Or they've done something to get a boost. Seven of Cups reversed. The Seven of Cups reversed is becoming clear of a choice after being confused or being in some sort of illusion, right? This is making a choice. Making a choice that was uh, delayed. Somebody was struggling to make a choice because they weren't seeing clearly and they had multiple options now we're becoming clear of the choice. This tower is where the universe force sheds the light on something, forces something to be seen or crumble or happen, where you're forced to get moving, forced to take action. You have to force to take action, forced to take action right now, right now about this relationship that is not solid, stable, secure. It's emotionally draining there's nothing there it's toxic it's a codependency it's an addiction it's 
nothing but a power struggle. It's freaking war. Becoming clear of a choice. The Five of Cups reverse is leaving the past behind and choosing another option with the Seven of Cups reverse as well. So somebody's choosing another option. They're making a choice that they were reluctant to make because of their own demons, because of the outside appearances, because of their codependencies. The universe is pushing. The universe is poking. The universe is bringing in some sort of disruption that is forcing action to be taken. It is time to heal. It is time for a change. Everything happens for a purpose. This is about blending to create harmony. It's about cooperating. It's about compromising, accepting, and allowing that something is over. The death card comes before this. And it's making the changes that are needed to have peace and harmony. This is evolution. This is a new purpose. And it's divine timing. It's time to heal. It's time to accept. It's time to move on. It's time to make a different choice. It's time to focus on the other options that are available rather than lie to yourself and try to control a situation and force something That is toxic. Anyhow, we do have a sudden departure here. A quick exit. There could be an argument. There could be a fight, you know. Something could happen within the establishment or within the foundation. Whether it's your body, your work, your home, your job, your living situation. Whatever this relationship is, there's a storm brewing and it comes in out of nowhere. And it forces somebody to go, to move right now. Gotta go right now, right now, right now. So far we have Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. There's everybody here. doesn't matter. This is emotional. It is emotional. It's sad. There's nothing there. There's, the love is gone. The, there's an emptiness here. reverse beginning to see what the best choice is becoming clear of the choice making a choice after being confused after after resisting that's the queen of wands reverse that is somebody that resists that you know wants to force things there's a need for healing. Everything needs to be done in moderation. You know, there's a need for moderation. There's a need to manage oneself. There's a need to uh, stop going overboard. Stop going to extremes or stop trying to control a situation. Let go. But there's, there's an, I feel like there's an outburst. It could be an angry outburst or something bursts. It's almost like fuming. I feel like somebody is fuming. There's some sort of ignorance. At the beginning, we had the Queen of uh, Wands reverse with the Knight of Swords reverse. That's like ignorance. It's like... Dramatic, throwing a temper tantrum. Somebody could be throwing a tantrum, throwing a fit. They're out of control. They're uh, angry, upset, maybe in attack mode. No. No. No, 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 no. The answer is no. There's another option. Choose another option. There's consequences for the choices that you make. Be careful with the choices because what you own owns you with that Seven of Cups. Choose wisely. 
there's an opportunity maybe to go in a different direction, focus on, on a new direction. Somebody is definitely making a choice that they were confused about. They were focusing on a loss. They were focusing on something that, you know, maybe a rejection, you know, or a loss. Maybe there's been an extreme loss, you know, they were focused on it. But I feel like here's where we make the choice. Is here where we see the truth. We sever ties, severing ties with a toxic connection. That is the sword that cuts. This is the the bond okay so somebody may be severing ties this could be literally you know it's evolution it's time to heal right there's that temperance card again that's healing energy it's about balance it's about accepting it's really about allowing and accepting change to create balance and peace and harmony in one's life. So making another choice, seeing very clearly what the best choice is. There's no love here. No love here. There's no emotional fulfillment. This fighting is draining. I mean, come on. Good luck.